My question is to the Attorney General, Senator Cash. Senator, my question references independent professional truckies who protested Monday morning in Queensland. Can the Attorney General inform the Senate of the legal protections afforded Australians under our constitution, legislation, common law or international conventions that protect the right of everyday Australians to engage in peaceful protest in a public place? Order. Se the order, Senator Watt, the Attorney General, Senator Cash. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, and I thank Senator Roberts for the question. And Senator Roberts, in relation to the actual legal provisions, I don't have them with me, so I will need to revert uh, to you in relation to that. But in terms of the right to peacefully protest in this country, uh, it is a right that we do hold dearly, and certainly as a society order. and as a government, uh, it is something. Uh, that when people do protest, and we've seen protests around Australia, uh, in particular during COVID-19, uh, that they do adhere to the law Senator at Watt. all time and certainly respect the rights of others in relation to what they are protesting on. Senator Roberts, a supplementary question. Thank you. After the truckies made their excellent point that Senator Hanson and I support, Senator Hanson did ask the truckies to consider allowing horses on trucks in the blockaded traffic to be freed and allowing everyday Australians to go about their day without hindrance. Attorney General, do you agree that the Australian people would be looking to parliaments to defend civil, civil liberties exercised in a fair manner, not to trash them? Senator Cash. Uh, well, again, uh, Senator Roberts, at all times, uh, when people are protesting—and it doesn't matter what the issue is in relation to a protest—they should always protest in accordance with the law. They should respect the laws of the land, and at all times, they should respect the rights of others. Senator Roberts, a final supplementary question. Thank you. I note that previous protests against COVID measures around our nation were deemed illegal and prosecuted. Yet the Black Lives Matter protests were approved under COVID restrictions. Both series of protests were in violation of similar COVID restrictions. The only difference between those two protests was the subject matter. Attorney General, should politicians be allowed to use public order, order measures to hide from public criticism? Um, the, the minister said they couldn't hear the question because of in, um, noise during a remote question. So I'm going to ask Senator Roberts to ask it again. Um, which I know wastes the time of the chamber, but the minister couldn't hear it, so I asked for silence. Senator Roberts, can you repeat your question? Certainly, Mr. President. I note that previous protests against COVID measures around our nation were deemed illegal and prosecuted, yet the Black Lives Matter protests were approved under COVID restrictions. Both series of protests were in violation of similar COVID restrictions. The only difference between these two protests was the subject matter. Attorney General, should politicians be allowed to use public order measures to hide from public criticism? Senator Cash. Uh, well, Senator Robert, again, Commonwealth, state and territory governments, uh, the one thing we are all united in is keeping Australians safe during COVID-19. Uh, and the Australian government has at all times sought to take measures that combat the virus, but as I said previously, at the same time respecting people's rights and their freedoms. You would also know that states and territories themselves have taken measures under their own laws in respect of COVID-19. And as you have articulated, this is predominantly done under state and territory public health and emergency management legislation. Uh, again, at all times, though, you know, the Commonwealth will work with state and territory governments through the National Cabinet to ensure that Australia's COVID-19 response is one that is measured and is one that is appropriate. 